Hamilton offers solutions across the whole development process. Our manual pipettes, automated and semi-automated liquid handlers and storage systems are used in all research areas. This includes uh, also clinical trials, so clinical research, and also during the analytical development and the quality control. Furthermore, our inline sensors are used across all the phases where there's manufacturing, so clinical manufacturing and commercial manufacturing. Now we will start by focusing on the solutions that Hamilton offers in the areas of research, analytics and quality control. So I'm going to talk to you about compound handling and in specific about one workflow of compound handling and that is the whole dissolution of uh, compounds. So if you look at the workflow, we see that we start with um, weighing the vial, weighing, knowing how much powder there is. Uh, we add dilutant, uh, the dissolution takes place, vial and tube handling takes place, um, and then the, the storage tube, the storage vial go into storage, either at ambient or down to minus 20. Later in the workflow, the plating of for the assays takes place, as well as aliquoting in general, with forth and back going with storage, so taking the tubes out of storage, doing the, the plating, storing the tubes back, maybe also intermediately store the tubes. And you see the arrows with the white background, all for all these steps, Hamilton has automated solutions uh, to support these workflows. So I'm going to take you into an example of a specific system or customer where we implemented such a workflow. At this customer, it's a customer in Italy and Europe. We do not only have one of the workflows like dissolution, but there is also a storage system. So you see on the left-hand side, the whole dissolution process uh, implemented on a MicroLab star. And on the right-hand side, you see the automated storage system, in this case, a Verso, storing the tubes, the vials, and also the plates. So let's start with the liquid handler, with the star. When we look closer at the deck, we see that there are various components on the deck itself to support the whole dissolution process. And in fact, on this system, there are three different workflows implemented, including weighing of the vial, um, generating updating weights, but also the dissolution process. And I'm taking you a little bit deeper into that process. So at the start of the process, the user loads up to 96 vials one gram vials in this case, onto the uh, liquid handler by using these um, 1T carriers. The vials are containing powder, they're capped with a screw cap. And as a first step, the system is opening the screw cap. For that reason, there is a decapper unit installed on the deck directly. So there is no additional device outside the liquid handler needed, but really all happening directly on the deck. As a next step, the liquid handler puts the weight, uh, the vial to the balance for weighing. The vial is, is weight, weighted and it's checked with the tara weight, which the liquid handler received from the limbs. So to know how much powder in, uh, in that vial actually is. In the next step, the DMSO is added to the vial. Then the vial is kept again and put to the heater shaker unit, which basically moves the vial or a, a combination of multiple vials in order to dissolve the compounds. It's also possible to heat it up, but in most of the cases, shaking alone is enough to um, complete the dissolution. There is one very specific and nice implementation on this system, and that is the, the customized lids uh, for protecting the MSO. You all know the MSO is uh, very easily gets uh, hydrogenated. So these lids can be picked up by the pipetting channel, put to the open DMSO bottle, and is only opened for the very short time where the pipette channel dives into the DMSO uh, and, and aspirates DMSO. And just after that, the DMSO bottle is closed again in order to prevent hydrogenation. So that is for the liquid handler part of this specific system. If you look at the storage part, we see in the big picture an example of how it looks inside uh, with the, the picking unit inside the Verso system, which handles the Wondram vials. Uh, it can read the 1D barcodes on the side of the vials. It can move the, the vials, sort them, 
in a very quick manner with up to a few hundred or even thousand tubes or vials a second. And the cool thing is the Versa system is not limited to one gram vial to be stored, but in the top left picture, you see a whole variety of tubes, vials, let's say items, because there are also DNA cards, which can be stored in a fully automated process inside the storage system. That means Versa is not only suitable for the application in compound management, um, but also in later phases like clinical trials where blood samples need to be stored or in QC where QC samples need to be stored. And it's doing the job of a fully automated freezer or storage system. So to summarize the benefits of having such a system installed, basically you achieve long walk away times. You can dissolve 96 vials with just loading them once and then starting pressing the start button you get much higher throughput than if you imagine doing it manually. Uh, there is end-to-end -end sample tracking and there is possibility of limbs connection so that in the limbs, the whole workflow is tracked from start to end.